extreme off-road capabilities, the number one imperative for the Hummer brand. So we really start there and that lays all the parameters. It's really this form files function kind of design philosophy that, that started with the original H1. And so some of those key things are, you know, tire size, we got 35 inch custom Bridgestone Dueler tires on here, we got a 20 inch beadlock wheel. And then unobstructed um, approach to the front tire, it's such a big part of the front end graphics and design and it's also there, obviously there for the functional reason of being able to lunge up over a, a boulder or whatever, a log, whatever you might encounter on the trail. Uh, we have um, RPM actuated hood louvers on this, so functional hood louvers. I mean, one of the fun things you can do with a concept vehicle is we got them tied to the uh, accelerator, so they are uh, they, they do move with the with the RPM. You'll notice here on this vehicle, there's a, we have a wheel flare that's a separate part, and you'll see these fasteners. These are Zeus fasteners, so they're spring loaded. And the idea here was. If you do incur any damage out on the trail, you brush a tree, as we were talking, you can get out and, and with no tools, just quarter turn these things, get the damage part off, throw it in the back and keep moving on. You know, got something dangling out through the rest of your trail. Uh, as we go rearward, uh, one of the key elements that this vehicle stands for, I, I should say, it, it is technically, we would call it a two-door, four-passenger, compact, open-air, extreme off-road capability concept. So a little bit about the open-air. We have a full uh, two-piece top on the front over the front, two passengers, and then in the rear, we have a completely reconfigurable rear end on this. So this triangular quarter piece right here in quarter window um, is, is removable, as is the half. So you can really turn this vehicle into a number of different configurations in the rear, anything from, a, from an SUT silhouette to a slant back that you see here to a square back, and any of those combinations can be either open air or fully enclosed. And while I'm talking in general, I mentioned that the, you notice the paint finish, but uh, it, it's a pretty special finish for us. We were experimenting with our color and trim studio, came up with a lot of proposals, and we landed on this they call it a, a satin desert sand metallic. So it's a, it, it's got this anodized look that was, man, as designers, we were so pumped when we saw it. It's like, that is such a neat look. We want to run with that. And it really fit well with the, the theme of the vehicle of off-road and getting dirty. You know, it's not a, it's not this high gloss needs to be waxed. You know, it's more about being, uh, you know, fitting for the kind of vehicle it is and, and being able to be abused and, and take, take being brushed by trees or whatever. And then we also, you'll notice, have accent with orange anodized accents, which is kind of like a neat, you know, splash of color in there against the, the desert sand. Yeah. And then I think a key part about being able to open the hood right now is this vehicle has a 3.6 liter E85 ethanol flex fuel capable engine. And um, that's a big part because we're dedicated to finding, you know, flex fuel alternatives for all our brands. And in fact, uh, by 2010, all Hummers are going to be E85 capable. So it's kind of something that we're d dedicated to and continue to evolve and um, look at alternative scenarios. Our approach with this interior was really to um, take the structural components of what Hummer is all about and really expose those and make those into the, uh, the design features of the interior. So what we've got here is a, an extremely horizontal um, cross car feel to the, uh, the instrument panel. Um, and we've got this uh, extruded aluminium cross carb beam which forms the, the main feature of the, uh, the overall interior. The door here is, uh, is, uh, carries over the, uh, the exposed sheet metal feel from the exterior. Um, it's got this uh, pad set into it, big um, uh, billet aluminium door handle here which is actually used as a, as a part of when we actually uh, use this to remove the doors. Um, showing you here in part of the, uh, the the door lower, one of the critical things that we wanted to make as part of this interior was a set of bespoke components for the vehicle. So this is a removable shovel, fully Hummer branded. This is really, you know, we really wanted to get into the heart of how this vehicle might be used and if the customer really needs to get themselves out of a sticky situation, this is a, um, an integrated uh, element of the interior design. What we're showing here on the centre console is a um, customizable storage area. What we're showing here is a, is a fire extinguisher as part of that design. 
<coughs> um, but that that's an inter interchangeable storage area there that the customer can choose what they would like to fit into that. Um, from an entertainment technology point of view, here we have an integrated iPod situation. Here, the uh, the iPod. There's no, uh, there's no actual entertainment system in the vehicle, just an amp and some speakers. So the customer brings in their iPod, they drop it in, they can listen to their music directly into the vehicle. This is also a two-way communication. We have a, a camera mounted into the rear view mirror so that you can record all your uh, off-roading activities. You can view those actually through the screen here and then download that back into your iPod so you're taking all your adventures and, uh, and so on with you. Um, I'd also like to bring you, your attention to the floor which is uh, is, a, is actually a, a rubber uh, spray urethane floor, very robust, very strong, easy to, easily cleaned out. And from a from a grain point of view, we use we, we created this um, what we call a digital camouflage uh, look to the to the flo to the flooring. So this is a you know a traditional look in terms of the way that the camouflage is done, but we did this very cool uh, kind of digital version of it. So you can see here, this is in the regular driving mode, on road mode. We've got navigation in this screen here. We've got infotainment in the centre. And here we've got a diagnostic screen. And then what happens is that when we, let me see if I can get this to work. Oh, here we go. This is the off-road uh, scene. So when you would change your vehicle from four-wheel drive high to four-wheel drive low, you go into an off-roading mode. We've got an inclinometer here. We've got a, a compass here. And this is where the camera is running, recording your, uh, your uh, adventures and so on.